look who came to say hi. Look who came to say hi. You're just a dookie. You're just a baby. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. I had to uh, change my lip color and my shirt. That way it seems like I filmed two different videos on two different days. But in reality, these are two back-to-back -back videos. So today I'm going to be talking about my hits and shits. So, I've only done one of these, so... No, I think I've done a couple, but I named the second one Hits and Shits. So, basically, I'm just going to talk to you guys about some products that I discovered in the month of January. So, let's go ahead and just jump into it. I have a lot of shit to show you guys, so I don't want to make this a super fucking long video. Okay? Okay. First off, I'm just going to fucking get it out of the way. You guys already fucking know how much I love this. Pastel Goth Palette from Kat Von D. Um, I honestly didn't think I was going to love it as much as I do. When I first saw it, I wasn't too crazy about it. I was like, I would never wear any of those fucking colors. But as soon as I got this bad boy, I started playing with it. And what do you know? I fucking ended up loving the shit out of it. These colors are extremely pigmented. Like, that was literally one fucking swipe. And here's, like, another one. And then even the white one is, like, pretty fucking pigmented but anyway um i really like this palette i saw a shit ton of fucking people being like even pastel shades why is it called pastel goth like first of all there's so many different kinds of fucking pastels motherfucker like get the fuck over it second of all once it's on your eyes it's not as intense as it looks in the pan especially if you use like all the shades on top of white they won't look as intense but even if they did it looks fucking awesome so why are you mad and then like I saw some girl make a fucking like 30 fucking minute video okay it wasn't 30 minutes but she made a video just talking shit how this isn't pastel goth goth like who the fuck has time for that like it wasn't even a review it was more like just seriously just talking shit and she's like goths won't even wear this like who the fuck are you to fucking say anything? Like, are you, like, Dumbledore? Like, do you represent all the goths? I know Dumbledore isn't goth, but I know he's, like, you know what I mean. Headmaster. I'm gonna cry when I hit pan on Doom, which is the, the blue shade. It's, like, my favorite one. And these look so awesome when you pair it with, like, the Alchemist palette. It looks fucking amazing. So, pastel goth. I love you, girl. Next up, I have eyelashes. Um, these are eyelashes from the Makeup Shack. These are just three out of like the tons that they sent me. Um, these are fur-free lashes, but if you look, they look like fluffy and full as if they were like mink lashes, but they're not. So that alone just fucking blew my mind. I was like, holy shit, that's so dope. And they're super comfortable to wear. I'm not wearing a pair right now because I don't want to waste these. Like, I feel like when I wear eyelashes just to film a video, it's, like, such a waste because, like, they're never going to be, like, brand new again. You know what I mean? So, but these are extremely comfortable. And believe it or not, they're really easy to apply. If you're like me, I have so much trouble putting on eyelashes. Like, I fucking suck at putting on eyelashes. I don't know why. Like, it's, like truly my weakness like I suck at putting on eyelashes and I know it like and I'll wear fucked up looking eyelashes just because like I don't fucking know what else to do but yeah they're really fucking nice and I really like them next up is the NYX total control foundation is that zoom where is it focusing I don't have my contacts on so I don't know but anyway even if it's not in focus oh well this foundation is like my favorite foundation at the moment. It's pretty identical to the Rainforest of the Sea foundation from Tarte, except for this, this one's like way cheaper. I think it's like 15 bucks or less. I might be wrong. I got it at the next party, so I'm not sure how much it costs, but I know for sure it's no more than $15. Um, what's cool then what's cool about this is that you could put as many or as little drops as you want. And obviously, the more drops you put in, the, the more coverage you get. But I like that they have so many shades and, like, it's so comfortable to wear. And 
I wore it one day when I went to San Francisco and I literally applied it from or I applied it at 4 30 a.m. and I didn't get home till like 7 p.m. and it still looked pretty good like obviously there was a little creasing like around here but that's because like I have a wrinkle there but overall like it held up really well and what I really really like about it is that it, it feels like you have nothing on your face so good shit next from Vanessa Myricks one is her halo powder so she has a bunch of these these are illuminators highlighters whatever you want to call them but this is a new shade that I got at IMATS she was sweet enough to give it to me when I saw her and she's such an angel if you guys haven't tried her stuff they're amazing aside from her being one of like the sweetest people I've ever met um, her products are just out of this world and I can't believe like I barely like heard of her products as of last year like so I'm just gonna show you little swatch on my finger I don't know if that's focusing it's probably not there it is um, I'm gonna swatch it on my hand too so you could see even though I have a bunch of shit on my hand um, I literally wore this like almost two weeks in a row after I got it and I did like five million looks with it can you see that it's not there we go when I first saw it I was like oh there's like a peachy orange based highlighter come on get in focus dog there we go um I was like I'm not probably not gonna use it you know but as soon as I got home excuse my ugly scar that I got thanks to zero hold on I want this to focus so it's really really nice I did a few lip looks with it if you want to see how it looks on the lips you could look up my Instagram Another thing that I got that I was obsessed with this month or last month I should say are these cosmic eye dust shades from black moon cosmetics these are like liquid eyeshadows and then like look at the packaging um, pretty much the liquid eyeshadows that you could use on your eyes I use them on my lips and my eyes the formula is so like intense that it just looks so good on your lips like I had to do it obviously when I first got them I think I swatched all of them on my lips and it was it was a, a good idea so my favorite ones are Cosmos which is like a pinkish green I don't even know how to describe it it literally looks like gasoline on the floor like you know when it looks really cool and then this one's my other favorite this one's asteroid it's like blue with purple reflex and oh look at that I hope it focuses but anyway um you could use these on your eyes I so okay crazy thing about this so look you could do that and then like you could blend it out oops yeah so you could blend it out and it looks so neat when you do it on your eyes like literally you could just wear one of these shades for a full eye look and it's fucking crazy if you go to their Instagram account they did like a little mini tutorial and that's when I was like holy shit why haven't I tried that because I was just using it like in the center of my eye like I did a few halo eyes and I, I just focused one shade like in the center and I used it with my finger but if you apply like a pinch of this on your eye and blend it out with like a fluffy brush it looks so good so highly recommend these they're fucking awesome for lipsticks okay so obviously you guys know that I love Ofra's formula but for some reason I don't know why when I first got um this shade in Napa Valley it came in like a trio I, sh I swatched it on my arm but I never did a lip swatch of it up until like last month and then I was like why the fuck didn't I use this before I swear to god this fucking color is like everything look it's just like a metallic purple but it's such an opaque formula and it's so comfortable I feel like a lot of metallic formulas are so uncomfortable because I don't I don't fucking know why I wish I could tell you why but they're uncomfortable but this one it's so opaque that you literally apply one to can you fucking focus am I in focus hopefully I am um, you apply one maybe two layers and you're good to go and the formula is just so comfortable and and then obviously Bordeaux is like 
its evil twin sister. Actually, no, Napa Valley would be the tw evil twin sister since it's metallic. This one's just like a deep purple shade. It reminds me of Cyber from MAC, which if you know, it was one of my favorite shades when I used to support MAC. So this color, I literally have been wearing like three to four times a week and it's amazing like both of these actually like I feel like I could walk out of the house with just brows mascara in this and I look alive so yeah and I do have a code with them so if you guys want to use it it gets you 30% off just saying that one is an affiliate code so if you're not into that don't use it but if you are the code is just kitty with three T's and then I have another lip color and then I think that's it. Abba. Huh. Yeah, I think that's it. I actually have a lot of brushes that I want to share, but I think I'm going to do a separate video just for brushes, just because I have been trying out a lot of new brushes, and I think that deserves its own video. So this one is Sanctuary from Kat Von D. It's like a cool sepia color. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, sepia color, which is exactly what I've been waiting for her to come out with. Uh, that's like my favorite shade, lip shade. Browns and like deep, like this one that I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing Grim from Black Moon Cosmetics. Um, these are like my jam. That's all I have to say about it. I have one more thing that I want to share and it's this Jouer Clarifying Treatment Oil. If it decides to focus. So apparently it could be used as a moisturizer and you could use one to two drops between your hands and face and neck area upward strokes could be used twice daily. So what I've been using, I actually got this a while back, but I never used it and then like I ran out of my um, Josie Moran Argon oil. So I was like, okay, I'm going to try like using this in replacement of my Josie Moran one and it's been working like a fucking charm I'm wearing it right now I like to mix it with my um, locket foundation I feel like it makes it more dewy and it shears it out obviously so I think it works really well with the Kat Von D foundation and a lot of people say that mixing oil with foundation like is a bad idea but it's been working for me it doesn't separate it doesn't cause patchiness or anything so I really really like this so and you could also use it like on your lips I don't know if you guys have seen that like oil that like all these fucking influencers use and they put it like on their face they put it on their lips they put it like on their eyeshadow palette they put it in their fucking asshole I don't know they put it fucking everywhere um this kind I feel like this is similar to that because like I feel like you could use this for a lot of different things I haven't tried it for other things, but I will, and I'll let you know how it goes. As far as shits, I don't think I have one. I usually would list a whole bunch of crap, but I haven't gotten anything recently that I didn't like, so I'm sorry if that's what you came to watch, if you were expecting to come here and have me talk a bunch of shit, I'm sorry maybe next month so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys want to see next and I will talk to you guys next time please don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter and subscribe if you haven't already and tell a friend Matt. you're just a boo boo you're just a boo boo he's just a baby you guys okay dog gotta go hasta luego